going to start making a box stitch and uh, both strings will be one meter long which is to be uh, three feet long so I'm going to find a center um, around here and I'm going to create a box uh, let's go from here ah, yeah so let's switch here just uh, easier for me usually and uh, I go uh, one here and other side as usual so next I'm gonna make a brick stitch uh, and so make a box and then I'm gonna insert a new string so So for, for those who don't know how to insert a string, it's um, pretty simple, it's not as difficult as you think. So I have a red string here and I'm going to insert it in between the two reds. One over here and one over here. Okay. Next you'll find the center of a string as you've done with a box stitch. So here's the center and next we're just going to weave. So this side you're going to go to uh, left to right make sure you keep it on, on the upper side and this string on the right side you go from up uh, from right to left make sure you you put it on the bottom side close to top close to the bottom side so that you have uh, one goes here one goes there one goes here and then finally one goes there from top from top to bottom say Anyway, uh, this is how it goes. You go one here. You can do slow motion on uh, YouTube uh, settings if you want. And then uh, one goes uh, there. Over under and instead here, you go here. And once you've done that, Again, not so uh, f uh, slow, but I hope uh, for beginners, uh, if you don't know how to do it, uh, there are tons of uh, info in the, in the description you can, you can find. I'll leave it there. And um, yeah, uh, just uh, you have this, you have a brick stitch, and I'll make uh, two more brick stitches. So starting from now. I have here now uh, almost the last string I'm gonna insert uh, throughout this video. So this is going to be also one meter long, and I'm going to insert it one uh, on, on inside the stitch. So one through this loop, and then going out to this loop here. So do that and find the center of a string. And then stretch the stitch 
and we'll move on. Excuse me for a dog fight. It's always a vet here. And stretch, okay. We'll move on. Next, we're going to make a box stitch using these four strings. And then I'm going to make another box stitch using these four strings, the other four strings. So first of all, I'm going to take uh, this orange goes to the left, and then this orange goes to the right, and then I'm going to weave. Okay, and then I'm gonna switch side here and go and create the box stitch. So this goes to the left, this goes to the right, this goes over and under. And then and go here, go and under. And stretch. And now I'm going to create um, four box stitches on each side. So four box, four box stitches on this side and then four box stitches, box stitches on this side. So let's go, let's uh, begin. I'm gonna um, speed it up a little bit and then I'll continue on. Uh, so here we go. Next, we're going to make one more box stitch on one of the sides. Um, so, 
the box that you're gonna make is depends on uh, where the last loop was on both sides. So let's see, uh, the left side here, the last loop is here. It's more to the center than the outside of the A. And the last uh, loop here on the right side is here on the border here. So therefore we're gonna uh, make one more stitch uh, on, the, um, on the right side so that we're gonna have, at the end of it, you're gonna have another loop that is closer to the center. So I'm gonna make one more box stitch on this side here. So it's gonna be the fifth, the fifth box stitch. Okay, so after making the fifth stitch on one side, I'm gonna insert a new string, a really short one, just just really short. And I'm gonna insert it through the two loops, uh, the red loop here and the red loop here. So I'm gonna unstretch the stitch, both stitches, to do that. In order to do that, I'm gonna stretch both stitches. Okay, and I'm gonna bring this orange string, the new string, one for this loop here, and then from the, from the next loop over here. And I'm gonna stretch again back the two box stitches. Good, so we kind of get uh, straighten up the orange string. Give me a second. This need to be straightened up. Okay, that look, it looks better. So that's how it goes. And I'm gonna, from now on, just continue making uh, box stitches. Uh, make sure uh, you just leave the um, orange string here like this. So don't interfere with the box stitches. So when you go, just, uh, well, you'll see. So I'm just gonna make uh, another six box stitches on the four side. So. Overall, gonna have 10 box stitches on both sides. So here I have here four and here I have five. And I'm gonna continue on the four side. And then I'm gonna make a five side. So don't make a mistake of getting this string say inside this red loop here that's a mistake because then you're gonna get go for two loops for two, two, two red loops and you want to just go for only one red loop okay so that's a mistake undo this and then you're gonna stretch you're gonna, you're gonna see in a moment So I made one box to cheer. Let's make a four general post purposes. I'm gonna make one stitch uh, on the virus side and you'll see uh, afterwards 
results, uh, kind of results. So afterwards, you know, I'm just gonna speed it up. I'm gonna make uh, box stitches normally. So I'll uh, just show you. So that's after making one stitch here and one stitch here. So overall, I'm gonna have 10 stitches here and 10 box stitches here. And I'm gonna just begin from now on. And that's kind of it. I'm gonna continue and put some music backgrounds. and so on. And finally, I'm just going to stretch uh, the orange string. And here you have it, kind of, we just need to cut the strings.
So uh, in short, I glued the bottom sides here, but I didn't glue uh, the two loops here, this loop and this loop, uh, because uh, I think it looks nicer that way, and um, it's not that big deal, I think, in my case, because the, um, both loops holds uh, the string here, so it's really kind of pretty hard to get um, this orange string uh, out. So if you really, uh, you know, you want to make sure, so you can glue both sides, but I don't kind of glue because then you can see markings of the glue can leave marks and all that, so kind of destroys all the uh, idea. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna show you um, backside and I'm gonna got to go, I'm gonna go to go. So it's backside. And uh, whatever, top side here. You can put a, a ring here if you want to make it the keychain around here. If you, yeah. Um, and um, yeah, um, that's the idea. So thanks for watching. And see ya.